Welcome to Rick's Corner, where we talk wrestling. Hi guys and welcome to Rick's Corner. I have some boys that sent me a video from Newfoundland and they were showing me how they took the initiative to learn wrestling and I, I first saw this and I saw the trampoline and I said no I don't want trampolines but to my surprise the trampoline was just an entry into the ring. They must have taken the time to build their own ring because they did a pretty darn good job on it. I haven't seen the floor and what everything's made of but it looks pretty good to me. They're not very old, they're young as you can see. But they're really learning and they're trying very, very hard. I mean, to take the time to, to make a video and to make a ring and learn moves like they're doing, they've got good potential. Now, you might see that not everything's perfect, but it's not intended to be. They're just in the learning process. And even the guys I have here who come for years, two years, three years, they're not perfect either. Last night we had a class, there were a lot of mistakes because people forget. I try to uh, have them review high spots all the time because things they did two months ago they'll forget today and so by reviewing them and doing them over and over they remember it's the same thing here there's moves that you can see them doing suplexes you can see them doing drop kicks things off the ropes they're good there's no continuity to this video because they haven't learned the art of selling which is really important and I stress that all the time telling a story when you're wrestling you know you have to have the good versus evil you have to have a beginning you have to have a middle and you have to have an ending and so many people today don't they just want to do high spots in the ring and look what I can do and I've stressed this over and over to all of you get a storyline down less is more um, if you do too much no one understands what's going on but they do have a lot of drive and they're good kids from what I can tell and they're trying really really hard and I thought they were worthy of being on Rick's corner take a look at some of their stuff that they do you can see that they're really trying um, they're not big kids but you know they're young but they have heart and hearts what it takes I have so many people who call me, one today called me and wanted to know what it cost to become a wrestler, it's my dream and I want to do this more than anything. And I called him back and he didn't answer. And I left a message and it's been eight hours since and he still hasn't called me back. If it was really his dream, he wanted to do it, he'd be calling me. So I urge all of you, if this is what you want to do, take a lesson from these boys. They're trying really hard. You can find a way to make a ring. Um, it's not that difficult. It doesn't have to be a $6,000 ring like mine, but it can be something nice with a floor and some ring posts and ropes that you can work off because ropes are very important. You don't want to bounce like a trampoline like I've said before. You want a good floor that has a little spring but not a lot. It's got to be solid so you can walk on it. And make one. Have fun with it. See what you can come up with. I have three more videos I'm going to put on Rick's Corner in the future that have done just that. And you'll see that they found a way to do it. These people are in foreign countries and they're making it happen. Um, and I'm sure you can too as well. If you can find a welder or a guy, a carpenter or someone in construction who's willing to help you out at a boys club or something like that, you'll get one made. But in the meantime, take a look at what you have. If you want to send me a video, like I said, I'll put it up on Rick's Corner if I think it's worthy of it. And learn from kids like this who really try hard to do something and they want to become wrestlers, and I know you do too. Take the next step and have a lot of heart and have a lot of drive and show me what you got. I'll work with you. I'll answer you and I'll critique your videos. Again, from Rick's Corner, be sure and write in. Be sure and watch my videos. Stay tuned for the next one and have a nice day. Stay tuned next time for more Rick's Corner where we'll talk wrestling.